All right. Dope. Hey guys. All right. Hopefully I'm in there. I should be. Um. Oh god. Oh damn it. Just an FYI, I do check this before. But anyways, I don't know why I'm explaining myself. Hi. I hope I'm in there. I really just um. I have to go upstairs. Okay, moving ahead. Alright, there should be more in there. It's probably like pointing way over here. Whatever. Okay, so clearly I'm a little all over the place, right? Um, I've been on a whirlwind for a few days now. Um, just, I don't even know how long it's been. I'm just, I feel like I'm just like we you know um so what i want to talk about right now is um it's a little hard for me to talk about and that's you know bringing up something for me around my blockages and what's in the way so last night i got invited to be a um uh, a panelist on the straight talk show with Scott and Trish and um, they had a healer on um, Howard Howard Wells I think his name is um, and this healer was on the Saturday Night Live and has had years of experience um, working as a healer um, they don't identify themselves as a healer, which I thought was pretty cool when they, you know, they gave the power, the healing power to the universe or whomever, however, whatever energies they're working with. Um, so here's my personal experience on what happened um, and what generally happens for me when I work with healers. So I, all right, Onyx, I'm having a really hard time with trying to pay attention with you clawing at me. <laughs> it's really interesting when she comes in and wants attention. She did this last night during the show when it was, when it was my time to get healing, when Howard was working on me. You'll see Onyx was like being, if you knew Onyx or you've been watching me for a while, you don't see Onyx as much, but onyx is a magic cat onyx loves magic so what i'm about to say is not to devalue and say magic didn't happen last night because magic happened healing happened and it just looks and feels different for everyone um now for me as a blind person who before going blind though i've been on a healing journey and um been working with healing energies personally and professionally on myself and with others and receiving and um, in a multitude of ways. What I have learned and noticed, so now that I'm blind, is that, and so this really bugs me just to like be really real. This is a, an annoyance for me. Um, whenever I go to a healer, it seems as if that so they want to fix, okay? So there's a difference between healing and fixing and offering. And it, it seems as if no matter what comes out of my mouth, if they know that I'm blind or I lost my vision, that is like the focus point. They are fixated on fixing my vision and bringing my vision back and there's something wrong with my vision and just so focus on the blindness as a loss and trying to get my vision back on the physical health level, right? Um, and it bugs me because for one, you know, I, I don't want healing I didn't ask for, you know, like I didn't, I don't, I didn't ask for my vision to come back, right? You know, in the early days of going blind, you know, I had different intentions and desires, you know, around, 
you know, like, we'll just prayer and putting energy into, oh, this fell, into a cure for my vision or, you know, healing the physical vision loss itself. But for a long time now, I, that's not what I'm fixated on. That's not, I'm blind. And I, I believe that this is where I'm supposed to be. This is where I'm supposed to be at, to get focused on bringing my vision back and fixing the vision loss does not feel like what my soul, my body, my being, my life is called for. What I feel like I need healing assistance with is restoring my spiritual vision, my, my, the, this depression. I've been in a fog and depressed for a couple of years now. Um, and that's what I want help with. That's like, I want to, and I've been here before I, and I get this, you know, it comes and goes. So, and, but what's been happening last two years, it's been very hard for me to really live in and believe the gift of going blind and that it is a gift and that it is a superpower and having confidence and security and I could go on and on about the healing that I desire around this and so for me you know I went through this healing last night and God, I slept in till 12 or something, which is like crazy for me. Um, and I woke up and I went right to bed right after this healing last night. And there were several other people, there were all sorts of healings happening and everybody had their own experience. When I woke up, I woke up feeling really shitty. Um, you know, if you want to know what happened during the healing and stuff, feel free to go watch the video. I'm talking about what was going on behind the scenes. <laughs> um, and so I woke up this morning with like a really bad headache, um, cramps and my depression. I woke up with some really hard, depressive thoughts. Um, I even did have some suicidal thoughts. Um, very briefly, you know, I haven't been awake that long, but to wake up and wake up, just bam, I woke up in turmoil. I was just like, here's all that shit that, you know, you wanted gone last night. And so, for me, the healing is in embracing my blindness in you know as I shared last night on the show you know and I said I want healing for us I would like to feel good about where I'm at in my life and the blindness I want just this depression just like to sum it up like there's so many symptoms and human experiences that fall under like the label of depression that I've been dealing with that I would really like gone. <laughs> so I woke up like, fuck, you know, I'm, I'm fucked up, blah, 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 blah. And, um, and, um, and of course I went into and what I'm talking about, like, you know, what happened? Why didn't I get the healing? Why, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, and as a healer and as a recipient of healing, I felt, and, and there's a big thing going on in my life around boundaries and people not honoring my boundaries or caring what my boundaries are and or actually being with me 
in the ways in which that I said I'm there or I want them to be there or not. And so last night when, you know, I told him, you know, I wanted healing around this depression and just feeling better about being blind. And then he immediately went into trying to heal my eyes, my, my blindness, and kept asking me if I could see better now. And it was, it was this big focus on my physical vision. And I was triggered by it as well. Um, and so when I woke up, there was also this part of me like, you know please <laughs> even when our offerings of energy time space come from the most biggest beautiful highest of intentions please make sure that's actually what the person wants or needs or is available for has space for um, and for me, see, I keep, it's like I can, I am seeing and feeling Howard on a spirit level right now. How Howard shows up on a physical level, like on the call, is very different than Howard on a spiritual level. And as a blind person, I experience people on a soul level, spiritual level, human level. And so right now, as I'm having this conversation with you, <clears throat> excuse me I feel like I'm also having a conversation with Howard and the spirit of Howard and the different energies that Howard was connecting with and um having like a little conversation excuse me I'm having like really bad like allergy head shit too and of course I'm crying constantly and it's just I'm all I'm sick I'm a mess but anyways um the healing for me I know I, it's hard for me to put into words it's so big and I have so much going on it's it's basically what I asked for you know like and it's no one else it's no one else that can do it for me it's my job to be happy about being blind to find my joy in being blind to be confident in life and have faith and give equal space and permission for my sadness and um, yeah no one else can feel my feelings for me and um, I have to do it and um, yeah I woke up really pissed off <laughs> like the fuck I like I, I, I just want to be better like I didn't wake up all better no poof be gone you know if anything I woke up with like this you know um that trusting in the universe that that's exactly what I needed that's the healing that happened for me and leaning into my power my strength my voice my my truth, whatever that is. Um, and taking my power back. Um, knowing that I know myself. Um, is it, yeah, I feel like it's one, it's like the, the dance between knowing and unknowing. Um, letting go and letting God while also hanging on so I have to say that because as someone who struggles with suicidal thoughts and you know there's a, a let go factor that's delicious and divine and there's a let go factor that's really depressing and dark um, but 
to judge it and put it in some category there's something wrong with that doesn't do anything any good everything is in divine perfect healing like that's like that's the healing for me there's nothing wrong with me there's nothing bad with about me there's nothing wrong or bad about these thoughts and having these feelings it makes absolute sense to have had the life experiences I have had and to think the thoughts I think to expect me to be anything else it's just silly and you know that's the, the big thing is these really unrealistic high expectations I have put on my human self that the universe doesn't ask of me others aren't it's it's me um, I could go on and on about this I am like fired up big time around my healing and our responsibility as healers and and another piece I'm really fired up about is that I'm a little annoyed with I also want to say fakeness, um, like lying, deceit, um, people pleasing. Yeah, that. And what's annoying me about it is that, like, <clears throat> there's people in my life that I really need and I really want in my life, and I could really use their love and their help. Um, and but what they're what they're trying how they're trying to be there for me is really being there for themselves um, it's really not about being there for me it's doing things for me and it's not it's not like I want people to dishonor themselves to do things for me but to consider um, and The distance thing like if you care about me and you love me and you want to know if I'm okay and if my needs are met or how I'm doing and you know please do reach out like I I I do I need people in my life and I like I can feel people caring about me and wanting to help but not actually offering any help not reaching out and letting me know they're there and they care um, and yeah that's uh that's annoying because <laughs> I, I um I need to know others are there it's it's really helpful. Um, so for all of you that are those people that reach out and say hello or check in or, you know, just ask if there's anything you can do. There's so many things I need help with. There's so many things others can help with that um, I'm not able to do for myself or just emotional, spiritual support. Um, and I am... I'm here and we're here <laughs> and I want to connect with others and share with others and um, I want to receive I am I am also learning big time this has been this is my journey I'm learning how to receive this is a I came into this world um, I came into this world with two holes in my heart. Nobody knew what was wrong with me. I was blue. I had three parents that were all addicted to drugs and alcohol and crazy behavior. So you could probably tell my 
I have a lot of memories that come up when I bring this stuff up. Um, now I lost my train of thought because I'm feeling and seeing all that stuff. Um, so the point of me going back there and sharing that is this part of me that in my soul is here to receive from the, the infinite, unknowing, unseeable. It wasn't the physical world. Like, well, it is, but it isn't. Like, ah! Okay, I'm gonna go because I'm getting like really deep and I'm, I don't even know where I'm going. Um, but I'm glad I went here. Um, I really want to share more. I really, that's another part of my healing that I feel like I experienced last night is not hiding or holding back anymore, like being true and yeah. All right. I'm really going to go for real this time. Bye. Oh, there you are. <laughs>